welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Welcome to a lovely Saturday morning. Yes, we're going to have a reading from the angel cards of, who's that? Uh, oh yeah, it's Matt Bayeski. Oh, first edition. Yeah, you like, eh? <laughs> We've had quite a few sales in the past few few weeks. So thank you guys for uh, buying the angel cards. And uh, yeah, I used to uh, give these cards away to random people or just leave a card here and there. Beautiful. Make someone his day. Make somebody's day. Just, just somebody that you don't even know. Here, take a card. That's your message today. How beautiful is that? Anyway, I'm doing that to you today. So I don't need to give them all away. Just, here you go. Choose a card. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> okay, your message today. Oh, it's a long one. <laughs> Loving yourself. Yeah, come closer. We don't do that enough, do we? <clears throat> So close your eyes, no peeking. Your message today is this. If you are looking for true love, you must begin by first discovering your inner love. Work on letting go of past issues and focus on loving yourself. Once we find our inner love, we create a powerful energy that touches those around us and gives us a renewed and amazing love for life. Your inner love begins when you believe in your own self-worth and value. Beautiful, eh? I think it's probably one of the most interesting challenges that we go through in life. We hide, we uh, run around, we pass it, we cover it, we pretend it doesn't exist. And I think there's so many reasons, I don't think there's just one reason for walking away from self-love, putting ourselves on a back burner, being vulnerable, feeling vulnerable with ourselves. do we deserve it? The guilt, the um, the childhood programming, that we're never good enough. And really, to see our self-love, to see who we are inside, we have to, I guess, break free from the demons, that those that programmed us, the pain and the suffering that we've been through, the challenges and tests, the suffering that we all go through day to day. And to get to self-love, to get to loving yourself, it's not a simple case of buying a crystal and holding it. It's not a simple case of saying, today is the day I'm going to love myself. It's a process that is a way of life. It's not a it's not a time, it's uh, not a destination, in, it's, it's a way of life, it's walking that path of loving yourself, whether it's the little things that you do, stopping <laughs> just for a moment and looking around, seeing the trees, seeing the sky, breathing for the first time. It's those moments where you say no to others by way of saying yes to yourself by giving yourself that focus that you normally give to everybody else and these things are, are challenging these things are difficult but slowly but surely we take away the program from the word selfishness that is used to us by those who are extremely selfish because if you're loved by somebody they would want you to find self-love. They want you to love yourself. They want you to give yourself what you need to do what you feel is right. Because anybody with any common sense or consciousness would know that if you're feeling 100%, then what you give is 100%. But a selfish person doesn't care about that. They don't care about you. And that's why they will use all of those negative things like selfishness and and calling you and making you feel bad. 
So within that path of my new journey is one where I surround myself with people who love me for who I am and accept me for who I am. But also, we too have to love people for who they are and accept them for who they are without negativity or negative thoughts. And that's also something that we have to work towards. Mm. So I am wishing you all a lovely day today. Again, food for thought. I hope you appreciate your angel card reading today and the extended conversation of maybe just walking a path, a new path, a new life towards happiness and self-love. I wish you all a lovely day. From my heart to yours, have a beautiful day, guys.